Joining me now is a policy analyst, Dr. Mabinori. Uh, Dr. it's good to have you join me right now. Oh, thank you for having me. Great. As a country, we have all been brainstorming one way or the other through talk, those who are involved in policies, those who are involved in decision, those who are analyzing, those who are watching, those who are parents, those who are teachers and all of that as to what is the best way to handle this. Now, there seem to be disagreements or maybe the debates as to the approach how schools should resume, when, how, why, and, and whatnot. What concerns do you have in all of these? All right. Thank you very much. Um, one of the things that uh, COVID-19 has um, done is that, one, it has exposed our inefficiencies. Mm. And um, let me a bit digress into project management. In project management, there's what we call risk. And we have strategies for managing risk. They're just four strategies. One is you can either transfer the risk, you accept it, you respond to it, that is by mitigating against it, or you avoid it. Here we can't avoid the risk because this is a global pandemic. It was unavoidable. We couldn't transfer it. It's not a function of shifting blame. Federal government, state government, what have you. Then uh, we, so we, we need have to take that responsibility. We have, yes, we have to All now right. rest. We have to uh, be, be responsive okay. and at the same time mitigate against it. And what are the responses? Okay, now we are looking at it that COVID-19 is here. Schools are closed down. Are you saying the school should be shut down for the next two years if COVID-19 is still here? Fine. I happen to be one of the advocates of um, shutting down the economy, shutting down the school when COVID-19 started because we, know the, we didn't know the virus was a uh, novel. Nobody knew the direction. But now that we've understood the, the pattern of the, vi of the virus, I think it is safe to a very large extent for us to open schools now. And opening school is not just opening by just opening. There should be strategies in place to, as to accept that is, the, uh, we should have response strategies to mitigate against it. So it's not just um, a case of uh, let us sit at home and then be, do, do nothing. We can't yeah, sit but, down but and do nothing Asu, at this but Like Asu is saying, that yeah. public schools don't have the protocols. They don't have what it takes. Especially, take something like water, for instance. You go to a, a public primary school or a public secondary school or public universities, they don't have access to that water the way it is supposed to be. So, and if, you, if we have to go into the project of ensuring there's water in all of those schools before they resume, it could take months. No, thank you. For, this thing came how many months ago now? Mm. Since March, there about. It's about five, six months. So for five, six months, nothing was done. Just yesterday, we, I mean, um, last week, uh, Sarah probed um, the pres presidential committee on um, um, presidential task committee, and they said that one billion naira has been spent in the last three months or so on, co on COVID-19. Now, out of this 31 billion, uh, billion, how much was a mark for universities or for secondary schools or for, for education? Or for so schools to speak generally. In yeah, nothing. Yeah. Now, just newspaper reviews just now says, fair government spent 5 billion naira on a monthly basis to keep IDP. Mm. How much are they spending and on no, education? They're saying it's not sustainable it's, anymore. It's not so sustainable. <laughs> so we can't continue, we can't com be concerned about the present, living the future. Mm. Education is the future of the country. So we can't leave the country. Now, if, if, and again, I've also known of, uh, of so many private universities that are actually, as far as private university or private secondary school that are doing a lot in getting students in Place by having isolation centers, having washing hand basin, having sanitizer automated. In fact, even one university built automated, I think Bell's University or thereabout, mm -hmm. built uh, uh, automated uh, hand washing. And we have, they want to have this amount um, 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 mounted at the entrance of every classroom. Why can't, univer can't other universities or other secondary schools or thereabout learn from them? So it's not a function of just sitting down and then folding our hands and saying nothing should All be right. done. Now, the, the, the Kenya, for instance, like I always say, the Kenya from the reports we're getting have decided ahead that 2020 academic session is non-existent. Okay. They've cancelled it and are looking forward to resuming schools in January 2021. If we do that for Nigeria, wouldn't that put everybody's mind at rest as to all the, the likely risks that uh, are likely to come up with this? Uh, I think um, our own education system, they are trying to do something of that nature. Mm -hmm. Because they said third time should be cancelled. That first time and second time education, those in secondary school and primary school, first and second time should be added together to promote them into, into, into next nation, uh, next um, um, uh, level. Mm -hmm. But my own uh, opinion, my own um, uh, position here is that we can't continue to keep these students at home because there are so many. For instance, you know, of students have gotten pregnant as we speak right now, in terms of the female students. Yeah. The exposure, we are toiling with the future of our children, so, so to speak. So we can't forever keep them at home because we want, fine, some universities have even gone to, uh, uh, some schools have often gone ahead to even do online classes and what have you. But this social gathering, this social um, um, interaction in the university cannot be, cannot be underestimated. And above all, you know, being a researcher also, I've also seen that there are so many, a lot of illogic here. As we speak right now, for the last one month or thereabout, there's been an election campaign going on in those states. Mm. Just over the weekend, um, Akari also launched, launched his own campaign. Mm. 
parents that are even more susceptible to COVID-19 go to these campaigns. Then children that have almost zero percent, um, I mean, zero, less than one percent chance of contracting this virus are kept at home. For me, it is illogic. All right. Because we, parents we, should have, uh, they don't want having this so-called um, so uh, underlining the, amen. So there has, to be, day. there has to be critical look into, into all of these it, So we right can't now. continue. We can't, okay. continue, we can't build the weak. By pulling, um, you can't do it by pulling down the strong. It's All not right. possible. It's not done anymore. We have to leave you here now, uh, Dr. Mabinori. Thank you so much for your insight into this. Thank you very we much for having me once again. Great. Yeah.